hi friends how's it going welcome back to attack the pantry i am jen de la vega this stream is a deep dive into ingredients cooking techniques and recipes to help you cook for yourself during our ongoing panini and for the rest of your adult life um say hello throw us an egg in the chat if you like what you're seeing or hearing that is how we show love on this channel um i want to make sure that the audio works oh yep it does <laughs> hi robert good to see you uh let's uh let's put on some some mood music this is a new thing i can do now i can put on some music Let's go with daydreaming. How do we feel about that? Pretty lo-fi, chill beat vibe. <laughs> Lower it a little bit there. There we go. Um, let's get some business out of the way. Um, last time here on the show, we spoke to my new friend, Eric Grundhauser, about food in fiction. We talked at length about One Piece and how much we love the food in the show. Um, and Eric is of the opinion that Final Fantasy 15, 14 it has the best food? I don't know. Chime in in the comments. Let me know what you think. What frick, what fiction franchise has the best food in it? Um, you can watch all the past clips here on my channel if you click on video, or the entire archive is located at youtube.com slash J-E-N-N-D-L-V. Let's put it on the screen. Boom. Look at that. Look at, look at that. Oh. Um, let's see. We are also beta testing a new feature on Twitch called Moments. Um, any of my mods, anybody with a little sword icon can enact them and you can claim moments during stream as you're watching as like badges while, uh, for each channel that you watch. I don't know. It's interesting. We'll play around with it. We'll see. Um, I am a Twitch affiliate, so that means with every subscription, your real dollars that you pay for subscriptions, uh, some percentage of it goes to me to make this channel better. Um, but a way to go around that is if you have Amazon Prime, you can gift a free subscription by connecting your account to your favorite creators every month, so it will refresh every month. You have to actively subscribe every month. You just click on that purple button that says gift a sub and you'll get this little crown next to your name in the chat. Another way to support the channel is uh, checking out this wish list I've got um, or suggest items to put on the wish list. It's super fun. Hey, Gwem, good to see you. This wish list is specifically for a taste test. So if you have channel points and you want to make me taste something uh, in the kitchen, we can do that. We have several new items that people have sent in, which is very exciting. I will choose one at random. Um, we are also going to be unboxing something today, which is very, very exciting. <laughs> How is everybody? How are you doing? Lots of really good links below the video here, um, like my Patreon and Etsy store and Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff. But one way to help us out is to tweet and tell people you're watching the show because uh, it's one way to get people in the in the chat. Because, you know, more the merrier. And Twitch is not very good at telling people when people are live. You know? <laughs> um, I'm going to do something differently. I'm not going to share my screen this time. We are innovating here on Attack Pantry. I took a couple minutes to make slides. <laughs> Check it out. All right. Um, these are things that people sent in. If you would like to be part of this show and tell segment, please do tag me on Instagram at Twitter at Randwitches. Here's my Instagram. Randwitches. Uh, you can send me food memes, animal memes, cute animals. Um, I love seeing recipes, um, what you cooked this week. Weird things you've seen at the farmer's market. Whatever. I love that stuff. But here's my Instagram. Yes, James, you did send this in. Hey, I sent this in. <laughs> you did. It is from the account Capybara Album Cover on Instagram. And uh, apparently, 
It is capybaras replacing uh, elements of album covers, and this is a Caro Caro Benito <laughs> album. Thank you. I love this. This is so great. You know, if you don't know me very well, folks in the chat, I love capybaras. <laughs> so thank you for sending me a capybara. <laughs> Ooh, you just came back from seeing the Batman and eating sushi. What is your hot take on the Batman? <laughs> and what did you order at the sushi place, more importantly? Um, thank you for sending this in. We love a capybara meme. Um, Chris, this came in at the last minute. Chris sent this one in. It's by an artist that goes by the name of 0717 Vicky. And it's called Miss Tomato and Her Toast Lounge. She was lying on a cheese pillow and an egg cushion covered with a bacon blanket. She just moved to New Pots, New Pot City and was eager to make some new friends. Super cute illustration. I love this. Okay, so James's take. It wasn't bad, but it had to be a special film to keep you in for three hours, and it just wasn't that good, in my opinion. Holy shit, it's three hours? <laughs> I don't think I can sit in the theater for three hours. I have to pee so much. I'm, one, I'm like that. I can't. Especially if you get the giant Coke when you're sitting in a movie theater. <laughs> Jesus. All right. What else did folks send in? Um, this is from Priyanka. Uh, this is so cute. What a lovely little bowl. Um, Priyanka made one of my recipes that appeared on Taste Cooking. Um, I had an article package about um, chili crisp spaghettis. And Priyanka did, um, I believe this is the spaghetti al limone with chili crisp and some broccoli. So add in some more vegetables in there. I love that. Thank you, Priyanka, for sending this in. Ugh, we love, we love seeing this. Um, another one from James. <laughs> this is from an account called Frog Witch. Girls love the color pink because it's the color of ham. I was, uh, you know, a little annoyed at um, uh, some emails I got yesterday because it was International Women's Day and lots of people were pitching rosé wines and women love pink. And I'm like, not every woman loves pink. Jeez. Um, but I will accept pink meme. So good call. Good call, James. <laughs> Girls love the color pink because it's the color of ham. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you went to Yo Sushi, a UK chain, Yasai Roll, Avocado Maki, Ihari Taco, Edamame Beans, and Gyoza. That sounds like a good ass dinner. Treat yourself. Yeah, I want to put that up there on the screen. I hadn't been to Yo Sushi. I haven't been to the UK. Hopefully that changes soon. Hopefully I get to travel to the UK. That'd be so cool. Thank you for sharing me, sharing your evening plan and memes with me. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, I started watching a new anime. It's called uh, Piace Vole, uh, and it's about a teenage girl that works at an Italian restaurant in Japan. Um, the episodes are only four minutes long, and there's a. This is a cute screen from. Uh, like they had a customer and everybody was like, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to pour the wine. I'm going to make some pastries. I'm going to cook. And the Trattori Rangers are here. I thought this was super cute. <laughs> also on the show, um, it's only four minutes long. So these scenes are very, very quick. Um, but they serve food. And um, during the credits, they show you what the actual thing looks like. So these are caprese egg rolls. So it's like tomatoes, um, sauteed tomatoes, I think, and basil on the inside, and then some mozzarella cheese on top after they're deep fried. Pretty good, I say, pretty good. That looks like fun. Um, what else? Uh, oh, so this went up on my Patreon, yes, today, today. This went up today. Uh, recipe number 157. It's crispy patty pan squash chips. I am in the process of migrating all of my free recipes on my website to Patreon um, because the ad revenue stuff isn't working for me. I kind of hate it. Uh, so 
$2 a month on Patreon, or um, I believe it's like discounted. It's like 20% discounted if you pay for the whole year. And then you get access to the entire archive of my recipes, 157 of them so far. Uh, and then you get a new recipe every Wednesday. So this is today's recipe. Um, crispy patty pan squash chips because um, New York, New York's farmers markets are coming back this week, and you're gonna start seeing some patty pan squash at the uh, at the spring harvest. It's gonna be super cute. Um, you'll see a lot of this stuff in like July and August, but um, just so you can bookmark some recipes ahead of time, you know. What else is all going on here? Um, also, as a reminder, uh, the pre-orders are up. For this book that I worked on, it is by Nicole Taylor. It's called Watermelon and Redbirds. It's uh, shipping on May 31st of this year. It's very, very exciting. I'll put the link here to my bookshop account. And during the month of March, my commission is actually um, increased. So um, you can check that out. I get a little, just so you know, I get a little pocket change every time you buy a book through bookshop and my link. But um, this is one of the books that I worked on. I recipe developed and tested it. It's all Juneteenth recipes and ways to celebrate Juneteenth, which is gonna be super fun this year. Um, and I believe that is the last slide. So yeah, if you would like to be part of the show and tell next week, make sure you tag me on Instagram or Twitter. That's my username down there, Randwitches. Uh, let's get rid of these slides. How is everybody? How are you? Let me know. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna close some things here, but let's make some food. My hands are cold. <laughs> My hands are so cold, I can barely move them. So I'm gonna move a little slowly. Uh, I'm gonna take my headphones off. But y'all can hear me, right? Oops. Ugh. Throw my headphones down under the cart. Okay. Let's take off this banner here. And today I was going to try to clean out some things from my fridge. Uh, if you don't know me very well, my fridge is always packed with food. Um, I would say that 70% of my fridge is condiments <laughs> from cookbook projects that I'm testing. Um, I'm in the middle of a, a cookbook for Abrams Publishing right now. and. Um, we're in the chapter where it's all dressings and uh, <laughs> sauces and pickles and things. So uh, I have to use up all that stuff. Um, so today I was thinking, well, first of all, we have to unbox something, which is very, very thrilling. We're going to unbox something. And then um, I was thinking of making some sourdough crackers. I've made some dough already. We just need to roll it out and bake it. Um, and then I was going to make... A uh, simple salad with some toasted walnuts and green goddess dressing, and then maybe some pasta alfredo for my dinner. Doesn't that sound fun? It's all very um, easy and pre made stuff. I uh, just want to, you know, have a little cook along. What do we think about that? I think that's fun. How is the stream doing? I think I'm getting like a low Wi Fi signal, but. Uh, let me know if we cut out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Um, let's introduce my friend. Come on, don't don't shy, my friend. Let's let's just uh, gotta gotta adjust my friend really quick. <laughs> gotta adjust the friend. All right, don't twist, my dude. It's just because I have um a cable attached. Let's introduce Cooking Cam. What's up, Cooking Cam? Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> I'm going to remove this background here so that you can see better. Ba, 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 ba. Boop. So um, we're going to unbox something I got in the mail, which is very exciting. Um, thank you very, very much to Sky and Alicia for sending this along. <laughs> it's like a freaking Hickory Farms <laughs> gift basket. 
maybe cooking cam can't really see it. I think this is too tall. I think we're just gonna go big screen on this and I'll just move this down like this. There we go. <laughs> Look at this. It's a Hickory Farms gift basket. We're gonna open it up. <laughs> and maybe I'll, I'll bake some crackers that'll go with it. So thank you, Sky and Alicia, for sending this along. I really, really appreciate the get well present. I know. <laughs> I haven't had Hickory Farms in like, I feel like five to 10 years. I thought this was so fancy when I was five years old. Do you remember getting the catalog from school or it was like a fundraiser thing? But um, we're gonna open this up and maybe snack on some of it. And then I'll get to actually cooking stuff. But uh, thank you, Sky and Alicia. I really appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's get this bow off here. I don't think it's actually tied. I think it's just super, it's got an elastic on the bottom. Oh my God, it's elastic. I can just take it off. Look at that. I know, I know, Robert. <laughs> okay, so that's plastic. So I'm just gonna get my scissors here. I'm gonna open her up. time you had hickory farms i feel like every mall had a hickory farm okay what have we got in here these are all kind of like hot glued together i'll remove some of this hot glue Jeez. all right we've got Cheddar blend, jalapeno cheddar blend in there, first up. All right. Got, I'm gonna move the glue there. Sweet, hot mustard, cute. Cute, cute, cute. Ooh, olive oil and rosemary crackers. This is so cute for a picnic. <laughs> Walked in on the Hickory Farms unboxing, love. <laughs> Thanks, Emily. Hi, Emily. <laughs> it's so funny. Is there something at the bottom here? Is it an empty box? I don't know. Um, okay, what else? Pull off this cheese. Um, three cheese and onion blend. Ooh, that sounds like a... This sounds so good for a grilled cheese. <laughs> It's so funny in gift boxes, they, they hot glue things together so it stays in place. Okay, we get the hot glue off of here. All right, what is this? Honey pineapple mustard. I've never seen that before. Did not know Hickory Farms got into pineapple flavorings. Got another block of cheese here. Um, smoked cheddar blend. I think this is the one that I ate a lot when I was little. Oh man, snossages, we got snossages. Oh. Okay, what's this is snossages? This is beef summer sausage, it looks like. Beef summer sausage. Okay. Turkey summer sausage, wow. Meat, and then Golden Toasted Crackers. Super cute. I'm definitely gonna use this on a picnic sometime. Um, I'm gonna make my own crackers in a second, but I love this. Thank you, Sky and Alicia. Um, I think, I don't think there's anything below, maybe there is. It's, there's a box, there's a box underneath all of this, so I'm gonna try to clean it up. Let me see if I can get a plastic bag. Okay, let's see. Or is the box just for support? I bet you the box doesn't really have anything in it. But we don't know until we find out. There's a box underneath. I think it's just empty. What do you think? I think it's just filler. 
so silly. <laughs> yeah, it's just empty. It's just an empty box. <laughs> okay. I definitely want to snack on some of this. Okay, we're gonna move the basket out of here. Let's get this paper goods out of here. All right. So I already have some salami that's open in the fridge and I already, I'm gonna make some fresh crackers. So I'm gonna put away one of these, but should we open one of the cheeses? Okay, help me vote please. Which cheese should we open? We should we do the smoked cheddar blend, the jalapeno cheddar blend, or the three cheese and onion blend? Let me know in the chat. I'm gonna put away these things really quick. Yeah, which cheese should we open? Jalapeno, smoked, or three cheese and onion? In the meantime, while I wait for your opinions, please, let's um, let's start rolling out some crackers. Let's bring the camera back. Let's turn on our friend, cooking cam. Ba, ba, ba. Cooking cam, cooking cam. All right. So yesterday I already made this dough, this dough here. It is um, sourdough discard, um, a little bit of wheat flour, and then I've mixed in some dill and tarragon and pepper. So these are um, lovely, lovely, lovely crackers. Um, so it's gonna get, I'm gonna get two sheets from this, I think. But we have to cut it in half first. So, let's start by uh, cutting that approximately in half. I'm gonna use this plastic wrap actually to help me roll out. So I've got some parchment that I've used. I, use, I try to reuse my parchment. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get this into a rectangular shape. Oh my god, my cold, my hands are so cold. <laughs> okay, Let me get this to a rough, rough rectangular shape. I'm gonna get my plastic wrap, put it on top. I'm gonna roll it out with my trusty rolling pin. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try to get this out as thin as possible to maybe 1 16th of an inch. Or roughly the size of this parchment paper. Takes a lot of patience. Limp Biscuit song says, rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> Sorry, I made that joke. <laughs> so I've been making a lot of sourdough discard recipes. I've had much success with sourdough crumpets, sourdough scallion pancake, um, sourdough um, crumpets, waffles, scallion pancakes, and now these crackers I think are the, um, I think these crackers are the thing that I'm gonna make a lot, I think, I think. Just because it's so easy and the dough, like you can just rest it in the fridge forever after you mix it, instead of, you know, just taking up space with a bunch of discard. If this is the only time consuming thing, but you can roll them out whenever. So I'm just gonna re reattach this because the paper gets kind of squished, 
scrunched up. Thank you for laughing at my limp, limp, limp biscuit joke. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's gonna reach the edges, but it will. You go super, super thin. We're going for one sixteenth of an inch. I might have to uh, cut off some of these because it exceeds the size of the parchment and then move it over. I'm very impatient about rolling. Very, very impatient. See, my parchment paper is bunching up a little bit. Take it out. And that. Ooh, I can smell the fresh pepper on it. it smells so good. Come on, I see you. Come on. Get off. Why won't you? There we go. See all these folds? Meh. Maybe I should do this with two sheets of plastic instead of the parchment. Alright. Flat! 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 What if I roll on this? Yeah! Let's go the other way! How's everybody? How's your Wednesday going? How are you faring in the doom and gloom of this world? You know. I went to a fantastic bake sale in Greenpoint for Ukraine last week and it was so delightful because it was about 70 degrees out in New York and then this morning we were surprised with another snowstorm <laughs> I was like why why again keep getting snow here it's very painful I'm always cold all right how are we doing oops I got some dough on the cutting board oopsie all right. Let's see, I might need to recut this and move some dough around. It's all good. So, looks like I am getting to the sides here too quick. And then we're gonna adjust. Add some dough here so it extends out. Boop, 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 boop. Could use some dough here. Nice. We're getting closer to crackers. Cracker Town. <laughs> Cracker Town. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> what is everybody cooking for dinner? Let me know. I want to hear. Um, this cracker recipe is from King Arthur Baking. They have like a whole collection of sourdough discard recipes. So I've been cooking through most of them that are not bread because I'm, I'm doing a bread recipe for work. So I'm saving the actual starter for that. But uh, all the discard recipes I'm, I've been getting from King Arthur Flour. Which is great. Great website. Even though they sell flour, it's it's a really amazing resource for baking. And I'm a dummy when it comes to baking. Oh, we're getting closer and closer to Cracker Town. Come on, we want to make some crackers. There we go. Did I get a hole in my plastic here? Oops. Oh well. 
just try to get this as thin as possible so that it's uniform and bakes evenly. All right, getting there. Crackers are hard to make, goodness. <laughs> I'm so impatient for this. it's not you know perfect rectangle or anything it's just crackers all right move that take this plastic off carefully oops all right got my cracker sheet you can see all my lovely herbs in there and now i'm gonna cut them into cracker shapes. So should I do cheese it style or should I do like long pieces? I have some long pieces already from another batch, but maybe I'll do cheese its Or they're not cheese its for really, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Let's just, just why don't we just do cheese it shapes? So I'm gonna cut let's see approximately an inch ish. Cut. So I'm not cutting through the paper, I'm just scoring the dough so that I can easily break these into crackers. This is very exciting. And then this is a new thing that I learned. Um, well, after I slide, after I score this, hold on. Not quite there yet. Hold on. Okay, I'll make some weird pieces there, and then we'll go an inch here. Exciting. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Making crackers, making crackers, making crackers. Okay. So I learned why Cheez Its and why saltines have those holes in them. It is a process called docking, and um, maybe I'll I'll show you on one row. I won't do it. I won't do it on one row here. So maybe these two rows here at the front, I'm not gonna dock, but you take a fork and you prick them in a few places so that um, they don't puff up like pita. So I'm gonna have these two rows where um, we're gonna see what happens when I don't prick them with a fork, but this is called docking when you're making crackers. So by Cheez-Its and saltines will have holes in them. I think I'm putting two rows of four in each one, so they won't get bubbles. It's a very methodic, it's very uh, meditative. The exactitude of it, it's nice. Boop, 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 boop. Some of these are too thin, I can't do two rows, but whatever. These are gonna be so fun to eat with the cheese that I just unboxed. So I've had my oven um, preheating at around um, 325. Um, the recipe on King Arthur says 350, but I found that um, my crackers were like a little overdone. 
So I tried 325 for less time, like 18 minutes total. But I always check them constantly so that I can pull off any that are already browning too soon on the edges. So like this outer ring of crackers are gonna be done super fast, I think. Because it's a little thinner, more ragged. But we'll see. These ones toward the middle will probably take a little bit longer. Okay, so we've docked. We've docked our crackers. <laughs> I got my pan, my sheet pan, my quarter sheet pan. Let's get them onto the tray. That's why the parchment paper is so important. So you can just slide it on without really having to worry. Um, and then these are going to go in the oven for... Let's go for eight minutes first, and then we'll check on them. Alexa, is that a timer for eight minutes? Oh, I hit, I hit cooking cam for a second. I'm very sorry, cooking cam. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do the other dough. And we'll have another sheet ready for me to bake. Just flatten this out. Sourdough crackers. Ooh, very exciting. <laughs> Stick that in the middle here. Get my plastic again. Oh, it ripped. I'm gonna get a new plastic, actually. Let's get a new plastic. Brand new plastic. Oh, so satisfying. Oh. You can really see the herbs in this. There's like tarragon and dill and peak peppercorn, and regular black peppercorn. Oh, you know what? I totally messed up. I forgot a step. We forgot a step. Alexa, cancel the timer. We forgot a step. Ugh. All right, we're gonna brush these with oil. Forgot. I always forget the steps over here. Okay, we are getting some olive oil here. We're gonna brush it on real quick, real quick, real quick, and then we'll put it back in the oven. Sorry, I'm apologizing to the crackers. For shame. For shame. Olive oil, gone. I'm trying not to brush too hard because it'll mess up the cut shapes that I've made here. Then we're gonna add some sea salt. Let's go with the, the metal as fuck uh, lava salt here from Saltwerk. Black salt. Yeah. Let's go. Love. We love. Cannot wait to eat the cheese with these crackers. <laughs> okay. Back into the oven you go. Alexa, set a timer for seven minutes. We'll see how that goes after seven minutes. And then we'll roll out. More dough. Probably take me the same amount of time to roll out this dough. Have any of y'all made crackers at home before? Like this is kind of my first successful 
time. I don't think I was patient enough when I was little. I was just like, I don't want to roll this out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't have time for this. I really should have when I was younger. Maybe I'd be a better baker. Oh yeah, squish it out. <laughs> you know what would make this easier? If I had a pasta roller. <laughs> Robert hasn't made proper crackers, but you've done cheese straws, which are kind of close. Yeah, rolled out and such, and then sliced thin. Nice. And you twist them. Right? That's how you make the cheese straws. Very good for a cheese plate. A plus number one. All about it. Definitely rolling this out better than the first one. here in the middle. Let's roll that over to this side. Sixteenth of an inch is quite small. this again you can see that we're getting past the parchment here and it's crinkling up get my knife cut a straight line here wait hey 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 shoot I'm gonna add that over here to this side and I'll cut this line off Add it to this side. Yeah, we don't really want to go about past the bounds of the paper because that's how big the pan is. Okay. Swoosh, 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 swoosh. Oh yeah, she rolling. I made a limp biscuit joke earlier. She's rolling, 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 rolling. Cracker, we're making crackers. Okay, we'll get this side where I added that extra strip. All right, almost pretty good, I say. Pretty good. Let's see if I can straighten out this parchment a little bit better. It's getting all crinkly on the bottom here. You see, I'm just, it's all crinkly. I'm gonna try to. This works best when the dough is super cold. So this has been sitting out for a second. It's a little warm. Shoot, see, look, it's ripping. But it sticks to itself pretty well. I'm just trying to smooth out the paper a little bit better. Oh, shit. <laughs> Shouldn't be sticking to the paper like that, but sometimes it happens. Quite forgiving stuff, actually. Okay. See, my paper is too crinkly. Okay. Straight now. If anyone wants to um, vote for what cheese I should eat with this, um, our options again are 
three cheese and onion, um, jalapeno cheddar blend, and smoked cheddar blend. Oh, I didn't do it right. I didn't do the... <laughs> I didn't do the Instagram. <laughs> um, so three cheese and onion, smoked or jalapeno. Which one should I eat with these crackers when I am done? Okay. Crackers are the opposite of limp biscuits. Ah, true, true. True, true. Okay, this is looking great. It's gonna be good ass crackers. Make more cheese it. Cheese it shape. I mean, even though these don't, these do not have cheese. Though I probably could. I'll do it on another stream. We'll make actual cheese it. How awesome would that be? If I could just consistently make Cheez-Its at my home, I'd be so happy. Or if someone learned how to make Cheez-Its and gave them to me all the time and traded me, I would be so happy. Okay, I think this is thin enough. Alexa, stop. Let's go. I'm going to go check on the crackers that are already baking. I'm going to flip the pan around. But check it out. This is our progress shot of crackers. They're a little soft in the middle here, so we're going to keep baking. Alexa, set a timer for seven minutes. All right. Cool. This is a little uneven. Hold on. Get this to the sides here. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Cool. We've done it. Peel off that plastic. Oh, look at that sheet of cracker. Very nice. Okay, that's done for now. Let's see what else I need to do. Okay, so next step, I'm going to score it again. I'm going to do roughly an inch-ish. Oh, I learned that this is an inch on my finger at this point. So, oh, that's pretty right. Wow. Yeah, it works. That's an inch. <laughs> that's cool. Wow. The things you learn about yourself. Not consistent, but these are my crackers. <laughs> I'm gonna eat them. consistent but gonna do it hey schmoss good to see you i'm about to dock these crackers and if you haven't been here in the chat docking is pricking little holes in your crackers so they don't blow up like pitas so um on the last batch i skipped a row so that i'll show you the difference between a docked cracker and a not docked cracker but for this batch, I'm going to dock the crackers. Um, so these are tarragon dill peppercorn crackers uh, made from sourdough discard. Yeah. Um, it has an added cup of whole wheat flour. Um, I'm gonna brush this with some olive oil and then finish it with some 
metal as fuck um, black lava sea salt. It's gonna be fun. But yes, I've been rolling out dough for the last 20 minutes or however many, for the last 50 minutes, 40 minutes. Let's be honest. What are you folks thinking about making for dinner? Let me know in the chat. I would love to talk about it or hear about it because we're about to make my dinner in a second. Very excited to make my dinner really quickly. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. You know who I feel like? I feel like that bird toy that drinks water leans forward. <laughs> what would we call a group of these? I'd say a chiptune party. <laughs> yeah. Hey, James, Gwem, you know, um, I actually, I was speaking to Connor or I Cactus, you remember I Cactus? Um, Connor might be visiting New York this weekend. Vegs. Hey, what's up, LT? Schmas. Oh my god, my brother in law just gave us extra starter we don't feel like dealing with. Maybe I'll make these. Yeah, it's under the King Arthur Flower website. It's sourdough crackers. It's really easy. Um, you can even just make the dough ahead and. Um, keep it in the fridge. Um, so it's not like growing or you don't have to feed it or anything. Um, but the dough will freeze well also. Uh, and then you can roll it out whenever you need it. Um, not really spring cleaning LT. I mean, I'm always cleaning my fridge. My fridge is constantly full from work, <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're making a few items today. We're, uh, making some sourdough crackers. Um, nobody's really voted on what kind of cheese I should eat. So earlier I unboxed the Hickory Farms gift basket and um, there were three cheeses in it. Um, which cheese should I open when I eat these crackers? We've got three cheese and onion. <laughs> three, che three cheese and onion. Um, we've got um, jalapeno cheddar, cheddar blend and then the smoked cheddar. Okay, so Chris is voting for the smoked cheddar. <laughs> but if anyone else has an opinion, please weigh in. Um, so I'm gonna brush these crackers with some Frantoya olive oil so that the, they crisp up and they get some salt. The salt will stick on these. So you can top this with um, flaky sea salt or you could do sesame seeds, um, shredded cheddar, um, no wet cheeses because the crackers are crackers, you know, they don't like a lot of moisture. They want to get crisp. Let's see. Parmesan cheese would work really well on this because it's a dry cheese. You could really do a lot of cool patterns with this. You have cookie cutters or um, cut diamond shapes or something. But I'm being very boring. I kind of wanted cheese its or just like little little baby little baby sourdough crackers. Okay. Ooh, three cheese and onion gets my vote, Schmas. Oh my gosh. Three cheese, because you get three for one. I agree with you, LT. All right, yeah, why not? Why don't we open the three cheese and onion? We'll do that. <laughs> I love that, I love that thinking. All right, I'm gonna go get another pan for this. Ooh, Alexa, stop. Let's check on the crackers. All right, I, hit, I hit cooking cam. All right, so these look mostly done. Oh, mm, mm, these are crackers. Let's see, the middles don't really feel done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the edges here that are gonna cook too fast, I think. We're gonna kick out Take out these really toasty bits and we'll snack on these. Oh, and I have some illustration of what happens when you don't dock a cracker. Here we go. We've got real practical examples here in baking. <laughs> it's 
So I'm taking out the ones that are already browned and then put this back in for a couple more minutes. Because I learned my lesson. I've definitely over browned some of these crackers in a previous batch. Okay. I feel like that's all of them that look too brown. Uh, no. They kind of bow upwards when you bake these. It's really interesting. Okay. So back in the oven for a couple minutes. Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. We'll see. All right, sorry, I knocked kick up cooking cam. All right, so let me finish this pan really quick. So we're gonna put on, again, my lava salt from Salt Verk. Lava salt, Icelandic. Yeah, product of Iceland, hand harvested, metal as fuck, you know, <laughs> it's black. Right, we're gonna sprinkle onto my crackers. Great. Look at you. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. Who's so pretty? You. Salt. Done. All right. This has been rolled out. We're going to wait out of the oven because the other one is still cooking but let's take a look so i have some example pieces of the crackers so there are ones that are docked or have the the fork holes in them and there are some that don't so you can see um let's see these aren't good examples because these are edges well maybe we'll see when the, with the middle one but um you see that uh boop 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 I need, to get, I need to do this better. Uh, it's not focusing on my hands. <laughs> I need a better cooking cam. Um, so I believe on the this one that I'm wiggling, that's my left hand, but you're right. Okay. This is an unducked cracker. has no holes in it, but it has some, some puffy edges. So it looks like it has like some pita puff bubble. And the other one does not. It, has some air vents in it so we're gonna test alexa stop Ooh, ooh got some cracker asmr let's mm, mm. i am kind of into the bubbles as well hmm yeah i got another one so if you the reason why you so the reason why you see holes in saltine crackers and cheese it's is because they are docked but if it has a bubble in it that means um and there are no holes it'll it'll puff up a little bit more it's kind of like you get the bubbles in a pizza i kind of love the bubbles in a pizza all right let's see how you doing how you doing All right, I'm gonna pull off a few more, but I don't know if this is consistently done yet. I think this is maybe a little too bready. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, these are not cracker-like yet. I think they need to brown a little bit more. My oven is very finicky, so. <laughs> Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. I want to open up this three cheese. We're going to open up the three cheese. Three farms. Um, I feel like they're probably less structurally sound, though. Maybe not great for dips. Yeah, the bubbles, not great for dips. Um, ingredients, cultured pasteurized milk, water, salt, sodium, phosphate, onion powder, sorbic acid, preservative, parsley flakes, enzymes. That's why Hickory Farms is so, um, shippable. It's like very, uh, it can be held at room temperature for a very long time. You don't really need to refrigerate a lot of these if you don't open them. It says best by 2023 of next year. 
amazing. Love a triangle of cheese. Love a tri- Ooh, this smells very oniony. I kind of love powdered onion. Let's try it by itself. Mm. Kind of tastes like French onion dip. Yeah, I know that's some preserved ash cheese. I know. Let's have my preserved ash cheese with one of my homemade crackers. Oh my god, they're so cute. Mmm. I could eat these by the handful. Especially with these giant chunks of like sea salt on them. Okay. All right. I see you. I see you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The thing is, you spend so long rolling out these crackers and you eat them right quick. They're like gone immediately. Very fleeting baked goods. Very, very fleeting. Ooh. I have some already open salami. Let me go get it. Things from the fridge. <laughs> Don't do it. Then why? God. My fridge is such chaos. All right, we're gonna open up some Olympia Provisions salami. The um, I believe it's the fino fino. I don't know how to say it exactly. It's the fennel one. Alexa, stop. Ooh. God. No, Alexa, stop. Why you keep beeping? Ooh. Oh my god, she's telling me to call 911. Why? No, stop. Why she keep talking? Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop the timer. She, oh my gosh, she doesn't like to listen. All right. Okay, these crackers are looking way better. Now the middles. I could I could just toast them more if the middles are not done. I think I'm just going to let them cool because I think they're brown enough. Look at these. They're so cute. Oh my god, how cute are they? So cute. Break them up. All right. Let's put all the crack. Oh, yeah. And um, while I have the oven on, all right, we're gonna do Alexa. Set a timer for ten minutes, and then we're gonna put some walnuts on the pan that I just took out. I just put in the new crackers because I want to toast some walnuts for my salad. And full of walnuts. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Put it on the top rack. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. This is literally all I use her for. It's for music and for timers. Okay, let's break up all these crackers we just made. They're so cute. I think they will keep hardening as they cool, but they're really hot out of the oven. Take that, Rustic Bakery. I made my own $13 <laughs> crackers. I'm just kidding, they're not $13. Oh, this is so cool. All right, look at that. Let's eat all the broken ones first. Mmm. ASMR? ASMR? Mmm. Alright. Got our crackers. I'm gonna cut a little bit of cheese for my snack. 
and some salami, and then we'll make my dinner. How's that sound? If you haven't told me yet, what are y'all making for dinner tonight? Or what did you have for dinner? I know James got sushi. Okay, I'm gonna cut my fennel salami here. Only a little bit, super thin pieces. Mm, this is from Olympia Provisions. It's one of my favorites. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but it's from Portland, Oregon. My dinner is going to be an arugula salad with some green goddess and toasted walnuts. And then I'm going to boil some spaghetti for some pasta alfredo. I already um, made the alfredo sauce for a pizza I made the other day. Uh, and so I'm just going to use it for pasta. Look at these crackers. My treasure. I feel like smog with a bunch of crackers. <laughs> I'm a freaking dragon hoarding all these crackers. All right, let's 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 try it. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Get all these little pieces of Icelandic sea salt. Yeah, LT, how long is it going to take you to drive over here from down south? I think from here to the tip of Florida, it was like 17 hours. I'm in Brooklyn, so. Okay, see, Robert is taking a break from cooking tonight, but I had been making some tacos the past few days. Very nice. What did you order if he ordered anything? Schmaz is going to a restaurant wine bar for your sister's birthday, and the menu is very fancy, so you're super excited. Ooh. Wait, LT, you've been up here? <laughs> Oh, Robert hasn't decided yet. Maybe we can influence Robert's uh, dinner order tonight. <laughs> Alexa, stop. All right, let's check on the oven. We're gonna see if my no my my walnuts have toasted. Very perfumey. They maybe maybe need another minute. I'm just tossing my walnuts real quick. Don't let me forget that the walnuts are in the oven. It'll be your fault if I burn the oven, burn the walnuts. Just kidding. I love wine bars. Schmas, um, the first plate that I ever worked at was a wine bar. And it's kind of a challenge, you know, cause it, um, you gotta get, you gotta make foods that pair with the wine. And um, sometimes the chef and the sommelier are not the same person, you know? Like, <laughs> so that's, I have to uh, coordinate. Oh, LT, I didn't put it together in my head. Well, welcome to the nabe. I'm a little slow, okay? <laughs> Okay, so we're eating three cheese cheddar with onion, my homemade crackers, um, fennel salami. Wow. You're not usually a wine person, but they chose a wine region every month and then build the menu around it, so I'm super excited for the whole experience. Yeah, you're going to have to tell us what wine region they've, cho they've chosen. Um, because that's the whole thing about wine pairings, right? The aspect of terroir or like where wine comes from, you know, um, can inform the pairings. So if you're new to wine and you don't know anything about it, your best bet is to pair it with food from the same region. <laughs> so a Lombardi wine will go well with food from Lombardi. <laughs> Spanish wines, Spanish regions, Spanish food. Very easy thing to remember. Northern Rhone, okay, cool. Let's Google Northern Rhone for a second. Oh, 
cool. Northern Rhone wine region, the land of French Syrah. Hell yeah. That's going to be really fun for you. Um, Cote de Rhone, Syrah. Um, cool. Ooh, there's one called Condrill. Largest white wine appellation of Northern Rhone produces rich, opulent wines made with 100% Vignonier. Um, hard to source. Wow. Expect rich, oily flavors of tangerine, papaya, lime peel, green almond, rich toasted oak notes for, of gingerbread, macadamia nut, and allspice. Chateau Grier. <laughs> Smoky hint of gunpowder and butterscotch. Here, I'll post this for you so you can uh, prep for your dinner. <laughs> this is really cool. That's gonna be fun. Right, my walnuts. Don't forget about the walnuts, Jen. Oh yeah. Perfected. Oh, perfectly toasted walnuts. All right, we're gonna let those cool. I'm also gonna bring up, I'm not gonna show it to you on camera. I'm gonna just bring a pot of water to boil with a bunch of salt in it. So I'm gonna make spaghetti. <laughs> I don't need to show you boiling water. Also, it won't boil if you're watching it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna keep snacking on my stuff, but also gonna assemble my salad. Just move this all to the side here. Mmm. Watch a pot, it never boils. Seriously. Mmm. Ooh! I forgot. I wanted to grate some Parmesan on a salad. It's pretty hard to do mise en place when you're improvising. <laughs> more cheese. We love more cheese. Keep snacking. Keep on snacking. Keep on snacking. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> so I have some arugula. I do this thing when I make salad. I, I do a layering thing. So I fully dress it. We'll do one layer, fully dress it, and then do another layer, and then dress it again. So I don't toss I don't toss my salads, I layer them. Mm. Okay. So I need a spoon. Oh, 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 so many things happening at once. Alexa, stop. I'm gonna turn my cracker, see if I can remove anything. It doesn't look like I need to remove anything yet. I'm gonna turn them. Alexa, set a timer for eight minutes. Mm, that's how I was taught to make nachos in the restaurant so you get even topping coverage. Yes. Salad construction and nacho construction are pretty much the same thing. Because <laughs> you can control the volume and the shape of the style, the styling. Okay, I keep getting snacky. Right. Half of my walnuts. I toasted them hat like in pieces, but I'm gonna crush them over the salad. more distribution this way. Okay, so I've got green goddess dressing here. I always go less because you can always keep adding more later. So my green goddess has tarragon and uh, avocado in it. 
I keep a layer of olive oil over the top so that it um, stays fresher. It's kind of like the same idea as pesto. Okay, and then we're gonna grate some of this parm on top. Mm. Parm, real parm. It has the embossing on the rind, so you know it comes from Parmigiano, Reggiano. Mm -hmm. Okay, and light snowing, just like it was today outside in Brooklyn. So that is layer one. Get all the stuff on the sides, y'all. Get them. Then we do another layer. My old restaurant, they used to tell us, Jen, I want height, I want drama. So I would try to build my salads as tall as possible with the material available. <laughs> so like this, yeah. I don't think you could see the full height of it, but uh, let me see. And, uh, adjust my camera here. Their full height of the salad. <laughs> height, drama. This is what I was taught. Height and drama. Okay, that's about it. Arugula back in the fridge. Mm. I love an arugula salad. It's my go-to green, really. Mm. Okay, crush more nuts. some big pieces flow in here you know and then you gotta tuck in a cute one every now and then they're like oh i'm hiding oh walnuts <laughs> such a weirdo <laughs> okay usually i wait to dress things at the very last minute but i'm kind of hungry so I could not wait. Right. Mm, dressing done. Okay. And some chiz. Some chizu. 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 Cuties. Out of here. Tower of soup! Tower of soup! <laughs> yes. Who else has watched Black Books? And who else has seen that episode where they try to turn the bookstore into a restaurant? It is the same episode where Fran gets a car and discovers she has family nearby. Alright, a more cheese. A bit more cheese. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Right. So that is my salad. <laughs> you want heightened drama? Tower of Soup has it all. Get a little closer. Up here is my green goddess arugula salad with walnuts. And I've got my cute crackers to munch on. We're waiting for more crackers to be finished. All right. We're going to put these crackers away. Mmm. Okay, one more. One more. I'm gonna definitely snack on more of the crackers when they come out of the oven. Mmm. All right. I'm gonna add a bunch of salt to my boiling, my not boiling water yet. If you've, you're, you know, if you're new to the stream. My freaking stove takes forever. Oh yeah, I added Parmesan to this. Mm -hmm. Okay, lots of salt to the water that is boiling for pasta. All right, we're gonna use dollar store spaghetti. Oh yes, I did add Parmesan to the salad. So the salad has arugula, Toasted walnuts, 
green goddess dressing and then some parmesan um i'm also gonna do maybe some cracked black pepper on top ow <laughs> i hit my hand on the <laughs> cabinet um just a little bit of black pepper boop, 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 boop. yeah yeah beautiful um but yeah we're gonna boil some spaghetti some spaghetti really trying to get rid of stuff in my pantry um this is eight to ten minutes so we'll go eight minutes save some of the pasta water and then continue to cook it in the alfredo sauce i haven't had alfredo in so long so excited meanwhile while we wait for the pasta water to boil we'll eat this salad y'all why not why not mm. Mm. So, yeah, two-layer technique, you don't really have to toss the salad. And that way, the greens do not wilt while it waits. I mean, it will invariably wilt over time, because you should do salads at the very, very last minute, but you saw that my salad had a lot of height. Mm. Yama yum. <laughs> what else are folks having for dinner? Let me know. I want to hear them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Happy dance. Ooh, Alexa, stop. Let's see. Oh, shoot. We browned the edges too much. I'm gonna have to pick off some of these and then let these toast for a little bit longer in the oven. Oh, shoot. All right, we're gonna take off the browned ones and then we'll continue to bake these just a little tad bit longer. That's the thing. You know what I should have done is I should have trimmed off, I should have just cut clean edges on the cracker dough and then re-rolled it so that it would be perfect squares. But we don't need to be perfect here. It's just home crackers. I'm not serving these to anybody. <laughs> just crackers for me. Mm. All right. Oh yeah, these are still poofy. These are still soft in the middle here. Mm, do I want to pull that one off? I don't know. No, it's a little soft. I can feel that they're a little pliable and pillowy. So not quite done. But if I can hear it, see, listen. I hear it. That's that's done. Hmm. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. And we'll eat more salad. We're gonna eat more salad. Mmm, salad. Toasted walnuts in a salad are just so nice, aren't they? You know, the salad at my old restaurant was just um, arugula. We had to do this one all a minute because you you had to toss it, but. Um, it was seriously just arugula, lemon, this olive oil, actually, Frantoya was this olive oil, um, salt and pepper, lemon, parm, and then shaved, shaved fennel. So fresh shaved fennel bulb. It was super good. No nuts or anything, just lots of parm. Mm-hmm. Chris, you know firsthand, toasted walnuts and arugula are perfect. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. This is super good. And the thing about arugula, I love it as a salad, but you can also saute it. You can also throw it on warm dishes and it'll wilt on top and it's just like more greens. It's really funny to me that 
Trader Joe's has marketed um, rocket arugula or arugula that's picked too late as wasabi wasabi arugula. It's really funny to me. Um, I do prefer a spicier arugula, but um, that just means they picked it late in the season or they let it grow too far. <laughs> what emoji is that? I don't know. Who is that, Chris? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Mm. All right. So we're waiting for crackers to go. We're waiting for my water to boil so I can make some spaghetti. Oh. Seems good. Mm. Cool. Mmm. Love Green Goddess. It's so good. Mmm. <laughs> Okay. The water has some bubbles. Isn't completely boiling yet though. We want a rolling boil. Mm. <laughs> oh! Alexa, stop. I hope I'm not, you know, activating your computer assistant at your home, if you have one. A surprise there isn't a Dragon Ball character name not based off of arugula. That's funny. Oh my god, more Limp Biscuit jokes. and pillowy here in the middle. These outer edges are done. I'm going to pull off more of these crackers as they finish. Jeez, what a labor-intensive process. Mm. You know what? I'm going to turn off the oven and let these toast a little bit longer but now that it's not aggressively heating, I don't have to worry about it so much. Yeah. <laughs> Yet, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Fred Durst who blocked me on Twitter a decade ago. Wait, why? Okay, Robert, you have to explain to us why. Why? Why? <laughs> My old work um, interviewed him. Um, for our blog because he uses he uses the app flipboard he loves reading the news and stuff and um i don't know he really liked using that app and so we interviewed him at, at work and he is way more chill these days like he's vegan and like meditates and does a lot of yoga <laughs> biscuits weren't limp enough Okay, raise your hand if you had a crush on West Borland. <laughs> it's a bit of a story, kind of similar to Jen's. I was working at Dig, he liked Dig, so he casually chatted on Twitter about it, and then one day, bam, I was blocked. That's really weird. My theory, Robert, is that um, a lot of people use um, that tool that blocks everyone that uh, likes a certain tweet. So if there's someone who who writes an inflammatory tweet about you, you can block every single person who liked that tweet. So maybe you liked a joke about Fred Durst, but he didn't like the tweet somewhere else and just blocked everybody that liked the tweet. Yeah. You tried to get him to the office? <laughs> I don't think he came in for ours. I think it was just like a phone call. Yeah. I, I, a surprisingly chill person these days, I guess. I mean, more power to you if you try to protect yourself online. I don't blame him. Mm. 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 
I know, it's very easy to like any joke about Limp Bizkit and it's locked. Yeah, I know. Seriously. Real talk, real talk. <laughs> Wait, Robert, I didn't know you worked at Dig. I worked at Flipboard and Technicolor. Technicolor, the film company. <laughs> Look at me now, I've arugula face. Mm. So good. Love this salad. I love this salad. Mmm. I remember Beta Works. That's where Giphy came from. I remember Beta Works. I came to that office a couple times. Surprised I didn't see you. Of course, LT, this is a one piece safe space. You had a semi viral tweet saying it was top 10 anime. I will say, like, One Piece stands will retweet so many things. You tried to buy Randwiches a few times? Um, yeah, it was a, it was a clusterfuck. Um, so if, when you tried to order sandwiches, um, it was about the same time Thrillist wrote an article about me, and Daily Candy put, like, Randwiches on the top 10, top 12 sandwiches in New York City. And I just was not set up to take that many orders. And I kind of was like, this is too scary. I don't want to get arrested. This is before New York's, um, uh, you know, pop-up policy was so lenient. Like right now it's the wild west of pop-ups. <laughs> but back then they actually were like, um, you know, issuing uh, violations to people who didn't have operating spaces. Um, but yeah. But I will happily make you a random sandwich anytime, my friend. <laughs> oh, LT, it was anti One Piece? Uh oh. Gotta be careful. I mean, there are some valid complaints about One Piece. Like, it is long, it drags on, but I love it. <laughs> when it gets warmer, we can do like a random sandwich picnic in the park. How does that sound? That'd be nice. When it's nicer out, it is way too cold. Ooh, our water is almost boiling. Just remind me, I, I forget to do things like this. But yeah, Randwich Nick. Yeah, we'll have a, we'll have a Randwich drop in the park and then hang out. <laughs> As long as somebody has a portable speaker. <laughs> Bring a blanket, get a randwich. It's gonna be fun. I love that. Why not? Oh, you got the portable speaker on lock? Okay. It's on. It is on. We're gonna do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have a great time at dinner, Schmoss. Please report back about you, the wines you get. <laughs> I would love to hear this. Mm. Okay. It's almost time to boil some spaghetti. Not your mom's spaghetti. Right? What do we think? Like a half inch inch? I'm a small person, I don't really eat a lot. Handful? I think a handful's good. Or should I make a lot? No, I don't make a lot. Jen. <laughs> All right, we're gonna drop the spaghetti in. We're gonna twist it like this. Um, Cause I don't wanna be I don't want any of this to appear on TikTok with those offended Italians. I don't know if you follow the offended Italians on TikTok, but anytime anyone breaks spaghetti, they just go. <gasps> <laughs> but so I'm going to put it in the pot like this. We're going to twist it and then uh, slowly poke it in there, push it into the water. So it fans out and then 
Well, I'll show you real quick. Hold on. Cooking cam. Beep, 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 beep. Do you see it? Nope. Oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> That's the pot. There's, <laughs> it's all fanned in. As it boils, I'm going to push these in or they're going to fall in. All right. I'm going to go back to the cutting board. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't ha quite have this figured out yet, okay? <laughs> Oh my god, don't! As long as I don't try to make a giant... Okay, this is a gen size handful. Yes, gen serving size. As long as I don't try to make a giant party size pasta on my countertop. Did you read the article about that? About those shock like countertop meals? Um, that is a whole thing um, coordinated by magicians. And this is why I tweet very, very often, ban magicians. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta, I gotta get, oh my god. Uh, countertop recipe magician. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here. Who is Rick? Oh, wait, where is it? Um, someone else wrote Rick Lex. Yeah, Rick, Rick Lax is the name of the magician. But I'm looking for the article that I want to... Yeah, your least favorite gross viral videos are all connected to this guy. This is by, written by Ryan Broderick. It is wild. It is wild. It is wild. Band magicians. Here, you gotta, you gotta see this article. It is ridiculous. Uh, my Nono just gasped when you twisted the noodles. <laughs> I only twisted them to put them in the pot. I didn't break them. The Italians will kill you if you break the noodles. <laughs> yeah, David Copperfield out here making nachos. No, seriously. Read this article by Ryan Broderick. It is a roller coaster. And it is all about those viral videos of the ladies making nachos or spaghetti on the counter. It's all coordinated by the same magician named Rick Lax. He's based in Las Vegas. I'm not kidding. It's insane. Has this article been optioned for a movie yet? Not yet. Okay, pushing my spaghetti into the pot. Go, go, go. I believe in you. Alexa, set a timer for eight minutes. <laughs> Get my tongs. Spaghetti is in the water. I need to have a multi camera setup. One day I will figure this out. One day I will figure out Twitch and how to broadcast with my, my janky setup. One day I will have enough subscriptions to pay for a nice camera instead of just my laptop. gonna be on Netflix by fall. Um, did all of you see Zola? Zola was that like 143 post Twitter thread and uh, it became a movie and the movie is really good. Highly recommend seeing Zola. It is wild and ridiculous. It even has um, I believe Cousin Greg from Billions. Yeah, you gotta... Ooh, who's gonna play Rick Lax? The magician behind all of it. Who's a modern day, like, Ben Stiller? Who is that? Not Ben Stiller, he's too old. <laughs> I think Rick Lax is in his 20s. Late 20s? Maybe? Or 30? Something? Hmm... That dude from New Girl. I don't even know who you're talking about. I never watched New Girl. <laughs> right, my pasta is going. In the meantime, I already have an already made Alfredo that I'm gonna add more Parmesan to. Why did I put the Parmesan away? Mm, come back. Parmesan? Oh, yeah. Parmesan. Instead, 
of the grater, we're gonna use a peeler. Because we want ribbons on this. I'm oh, gonna wipe this a little bit. You gotta be careful, my peeler is very sharp. Okay. I'm gonna use the peeler on the parm. Got my Alfredo already made. I have a little bit of garlic confit that I'm going to smush a couple of cloves. Well, maybe I'll dress it with some of the cloves. It'll be super good. Anyway, I'll keep eating this salad. Mm. You watch New Girl all of 2020. Mm. Well, my show has obviously been One Piece <laughs> that I watched during the pandemic. Before that, I watched all of The Boys as well as um, all of Frasier. And before that, I think all of Friends, which was highly regrettable. Uh, <laughs> Oscar Isaac is Rick Lax in Counter Service. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> I did watch Frasier without watching Cheers. I watched Cheers a lot when I was little, but I didn't watch it in sequential order because it was that kind of show that you could just put it on. It's kind of like Futurama. Um, but Cheers is like 13 seasons. Uh, I was gonna, I was thinking of watching Cheers, but you know, and then I got into anime. So <laughs> I'm just watching a lot of food anime now. Will I watch the new Frasier reboot? I will only watch it if David Hyde Pierce signs on. Honestly. Because because his um, in-show father, um, John... What's his name? I want to say John Mulaney, but his name is not John Mulaney. It's John Mahoney. John Mahoney passed away. So if David Hyde Pierce and John Mahoney are not on the new Frasier, what's the point? Is it going to be Frasier yelling at Daphne the whole time? And Roz? I mean, I love Roz, but mm, let, you know, protect dead Ted Danson at all costs. Um, I'm watching The Good Place right now, and Ted Danson is a gem, like always has been <laughs> our unproblematic king. <laughs> oh, my God. What if they they recast John Mulaney as Frasier's dad, who is younger than Frasier? <laughs> That would that would really nip him in the butt a lot. Fraser would be like, why does my dad look younger than me? Because I'm an old fart. <laughs> yeah, the good place ended too soon. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Good place is so great. No spoilers. Chris is watching it right now. <laughs> Let me get another bowl for my Alfredo. Okay, so, cannot wait. I would like to eat my pasta soon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's check on the crackers that have been resting in the oven. Oh, perfect! Look, they rested and they are nice and toasty now and done. They're not soft anymore. Good batch of crackers. Hooray! Did it. All right. Successfully made some crackers. Successfully made some salad. And now we're going to successfully make some pasta. Pasta. Got so much cheese on this cutting board. I um, just want to shout out again to Sky and Alicia for sending me that Hickory Farms gift basket. It is wild. I haven't had it in so long. Thank you so much. I'm very, very excited to eat all of it. Um, Alexa, how much time is left? I'm so hungry. I'm so 
so hungry. It is 647. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, I'm not... Mm. Yeah, no Frasier unless David Hyde Pierce signs on. Did you see that um, the, the voice of Bender did sign on to the Futurama uh, reboot? Ooh, you ordered Chinese from where? Kings County Imperial? Or somewhere else? I've heard that Bonnie's near my place is, is really good. I haven't tried it yet, though. Seems like a place you would go with a lot of people. Oh, you did get Kings County? Did you get soup dumplings? <gasps> My favorite thing from there is the soup dumplings and the um, deep fried mushrooms. Alexa, stop. Ooh. Let's check on these nudes. Send nudes. No, Alexa, stop. Are you crazy? I think these are a little too stiff still. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. Ooh, salt and pepper pork. Oh, they don't do the soup dumplings delivery? I guess I understand that. I understand that. I wouldn't do. This is why I, I kind of um, stopped doing random sandwich delivery because it just weren't great. Like... <laughs> The quality degrades when you deliver stuff. So I prefer to do pop-ups and like really short delivery, like at the park <laughs> or somewhere near my house. Mm. Yeah. Go noodles. I want to eat the noodles. I want to eat the noodles. Ooh, what was that sound? Did you hear that? That was behind me. Someone slammed a door downstairs, I think. Cheese. Cheese. Mm. My friends, my friends, my friends. Um, what day is it today? Today is Wednesday, I believe. Let me open my calendar really quick. I want to be able to tell you accurately. Oh, okay. So um, my podcast, Fun City, has been on a short break, a little vacation break. And we're going to be publishing our next episode on Friday as well as a surprise. Guess what? We're going to have merch finally. Oh my God. And it's going to be limited merch. So stay tuned for that. You'll see all the details. Um, hopefully you get one. <laughs> I'm very excited about it. We love merch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and if you're curious about the podcast, it is linked below my video here. It's called Fun City. There's also a mini series called Float City. It's based in space. Uh, and it is 20 episodes, finite. Uh, Fun City is our ongoing campaign in Shadowrun. Alexa, stop! <sighs> okay. Let's see if these spaghettis. Spaghettis! Oh my god, girl. Alexa, stop. God. Okay, that is all done for you. So, I'm gonna pull out the spaghetti into my bowl with some pasta water because we want to put some pasta water back into the sauce because it's salted and lovely. Okay. Hey, look, a gen-sized handful is exactly the size of this bowl. How cool is that? All right, I'm gonna pour off some of this salt water into the bowl, just so I save it. And then we're gonna pour off the rest. And then I'm gonna get my already done Alfredo sauce into the pan some of it. I can always add more. I'm going to add the pasta water and the pasta back to the pot with the sauce. I'm gonna toss it. Let it thicken up a little bit. Put some 
mau saus. Let's see. Let me see what it looks like in here. Beep, beep. All right, I'm gonna grate some parm in there so it gets all cheesy. Ooh, it's so garlicky. Smell it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Then I will plate, and plate it in front of the cooking can. Just waiting for my sauce to get a little bit thicker, my noodles to cook through just one minute more. It will be lovely. I just want all this sauce to stick to the noodles. Oh, it smells so garlicky, dude. <sighs> Do I have a special pasta making song? I don't. Hello from the lands between. Hey, JV. <laughs> I love those. Is those little bunnies? Oh, no, wait. I don't know what those are. Is it magic pot? I can't see your remote. Um, we're about to make some pasta Alfredo. Currently finishing in a pot. Got pasta water still here in this bowl. Okay, so bowl bowl. I got my garlic confit ready to go. We're going to use this fork to get some garlic here. I've slow cooked this garlic a while ago and so I just have it for garnishing things now. You can spread this on toast. You can put it on top of your pasta like I'm about to do. It's very exciting. Oh, it's a pot with arms. Got it. <laughs> All right, my lovely Alfredo is almost there. All right, ready to plate some damn Alfredo. Look at that. Hey, bitch. A nice little twisty. See you. <laughs> Saucy sauce. There you go. All right. I always try to soak my dishes as soon as possible because I'm lazy and I don't get it. Get to it at the end of the night, you know. All right. Now we're gonna do some ribbons of Parmesan cheese. Ew, get that spammer out of here. Spammer, no. Go away. How do I do that? Mmm. Flag. Restrict. <laughs> yeah. Ha! <laughs> get out of here. How do I mod this person? Block. Wait, report. There we go. Report! No spams! No spams in the chat. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, I can't do this right now. Whatever. Anyway, finish what I'm doing. Let's do some cheese ribbons on top of the Alfredo. Oh yeah, bitch. Oh, I broke the alf I broke the parm. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I just eat it. Mm. Okay, that's a lot of cheese. Oh my god. Oh my god. This particular parm is kind of fruity. Very nice, though. Okay. 
get that out of here. Okay. Then we're gonna finish it with a few pieces of this garlic confit. Oh my God, look at this bitch. And then a little bit, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of this garlic oil on top. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna do a little bit of black pepper as well. Get it. A little bit of black pepper. Whoa! Look at you. Look at you. I'm gonna clean up the edges of this. up the edges but otherwise alfredo dinner is done look at you look at you pretty ass plate look at that <laughs> all right Time to taste test. Ooh, she pretty. Yeah, right? She pretty. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna grab some here from the side. Ooh, see, that's steamy. Mmm. That is knockout. So good. That is so good. Holy crap. And this is a New York Times cooking version of Alfredo that I hadn't seen before. It's like egg yolk um, whipped with um, heavy cream. And then you barely heat it. And you add as much cheese as you want. <laughs> Me, I waited to add the cheese um, so that you can control how much cheese flavor is in every dish that you do because I could do this on a toast. I could broil that. I could put it on a pizza for a white pizza with mozzarella. And then here I've done it with a, um, a spaghetti with garlic confit on top and black pepper. Mmm, mmm, it's so good. Mmm, it's very good. Mmm. Has anyone actually done that um, Lady in the Tramp um, spaghetti share? <laughs> Ooh, whoa. When you get pasta from the very middle, it's still really hot. Cream sauces like retain so much heat. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna pull from the outside here because it's gonna expose to the air, but the middle is still really, really hot. Mmm, it's good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. Well, friends, um, thanks for sticking around and watching me uh, clean out my fridge. It's been it's been a delight hanging out with all of you. Mmm, yum, yum. I feel like the next couple weeks are going to be like this where I'm going to keep trying to clean out the fridge because I'm working on a book project and I, you know, I live alone, so I make a lot of food for one person. I know, LT. What do you mean? I've been streaming for two hours, my dude. But yeah, let's organize, let's organize an attack the pantry, like meet up picnic thing with random sandwiches when it gets warmer in Brooklyn. It'd be super fun, super cool to hang out with all of you. Mm-hmm. I'm all about it. Ooh. 
Yes, it is the latest I've been on. I always start at five, but I always try to let my guests go at like 6.30. But because I was cooking today, I figured why not just take the time and cook. <laughs> um, sometimes I'll stream games. I don't know if I'll stream tonight. It's been a while since I've streamed Night in the Woods. I might. I really need to finish Night in the Woods because it's taking up a lot of space on my computer. But, um, and you are a delight. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Love seeing you, of course. Um, please support my projects. Give me a follow down below. Click on those links below the video here. Don't forget to send me your cooking photos next week or memes or things you see at the store that you don't know how to cook with. And I will happily put it on the screen and talk about it. Um, but yeah, next week I'll be back on Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern here on Attack the Pantry. Oh, I want to do the zine stream, but I don't have a lot of time for that. I wish I did. Yeah. Thanks for watching the zine stream, though. Um, but folks, uh, have a great evening. Enjoy your dinners, respective dinners. Have a great night's sleep. Um, and I'll see you next week, Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern here on Twitch. Let's uh, stay tuned. We're gonna we're gonna try to raid somebody. All right. All right. See y'all. I give you an egg as an reward. <laughs> you see the egg? Mm mm mm. Yeah. Thank you. Bye everybody. See you later. Stay tuned. We're gonna raid.